Hello everyone, this video is for our group assignment for subject engineering mathematics 3, which we will explain about the basic of Stokes theorem. Our group member consists of Fatin Akira Pinti Mahla Jai, Nuru Atika Binti Ahmed Isya, Nuru Nabila Binti Mahla Siam, and Kiki Atika Binti Mahla Jai. Today's program is made to appreciate the contribution of Irish mathematicians and physicists with Sir George Stokes. Stokes theorem allows the transformation between surface is integral and line integrals. So this one is the formula of Stokes theorem, which is f t r by d x. This one we can find the value of f t r using this formula for the left hand side, and for the right hand side, we can get this one using a uh, matrix way and the value of n. We just have to use this. Or this formula, we just insert it the Stokes theorem formula. So now let's proceed with the example of Stokes theorem. The example of question is that it must be the function of parabola z equal 4 minus x squared minus y squared. Z is equal on bigger than 0. Oriented outward, where c is the boundary of sigma in the xy plane. Then find Stokes theorem if x is equal to 2 z i squared. 2xj plus 5 plus 2. Okay, the solution for uh, this question is what we have to do first is we have to draw the 2d plane and 2d plane, plane first in order to find the c, which is the boundary of sigma in the xy plane. So next we use this um, formula that we have mentioned before. After that, we have to divide it into the left hand side and the right hand side. We have to calculate the left hand side first by using the by using the formula integrate C F T R, which has already been given here, which is two Z I plus two X Q plus five Y K. And the R is two X I plus two Y T plus three Z K. The R is a constant doesn't have any value. So now we just have to multiply it as usual. I with I, J with K, and K with K. Then we will get the answer to ZPX plus KXPY plus FYPZ. Okay, as mentioned before in the question, Z is equal or equal to zero. So we have to assume that Z is equal to zero. And the z is equal to zero. So the one that has the z in the equation will become zero, and it will just only left with integrate t t x t y. So now we have to find the value of c. How to find the value? How to find the value of c? We have to look at the actual plane, which uh, the to show that uh, the actual plane. This is a very whole circle, complete circle. This one is the C. So, the complete circle means that 0 to 2 pi. So, from this plane, we know that C is equal to 0 to 2 pi. Okay, now in Stokes theorem, we have to change the value of x to 2 cos theta and to the value of y to 2 sin theta. So from the previous equation, we just have to integrate d x and y dy into this into the previous equation. Then we will get this one. So after that, we just have to multiply it as usual, and we will get the uh, This is the answer. Uh, as we know, cos theta is is also can be cos theta plus one. By theta. Right. Yeah, after that, we just have to integrate, integrate as usual and we will get the answer 12 by this is the final answer for the left hand side. So now we will move to the right hand side, which the formula is this one. To get this one, we have to use a uh, matrix here. And the final answer is this one 5i plus 2k plus 2k. And 
from the z, we have to find the z over the x and also the z over the y in O2 to insert in the n, the formula of n. Okay, now we just have to um, combine these two and these two into this equation and we have and, and we just calculate it as usual so the x uh, is this one it's already big so we have you just can um you can just can cancel out the the bottom the denominator of the n and you will write it 5i plus 2 k plus 2 k times with 2 x i plus 2 y k plus 2 and next you just um, multiply it i with i to like the 2 with 2 and 2 with 2 and after that you will get the answer 10 x plus 4 y plus 3 to a and this is the first one this, uh, this first one is the value of c plane which uh, I, I have shown you just now and for r is the radius of xy plane before which is this one the radius from 0 to 2 okay after that we just have to integrate integrate it uh, as usual we have to double integral and get the answer plus 5 which is also the same as the left hand side ok as you can see the left hand side is equal to right hand side ok the conclusion is the short theorem relates the line integrals and surface integrals thank you for watching bye bye Okay, we're going